All right, let's get a check of our first alert weather this morning with meteorologist Tony Chivaroli. We do want to grab a jacket for today, Tony, but when is this cold going to maybe wear off in time for our St. Patrick's Day festivities? I bet it's looking to do so into SARP. Okay. And as we're going forward into this morning, of course, as you said, bundle up today, please do so. Make sure everyone is prepared for the morning. That's what we're trying to do here this morning. So let's send everyone out. Let's see what they got outside as it's going to be sitting right now. Still upper 20s, North St. Matthews, Saluda looking up to Camden, but everyone else not too far above taking a check at Manning there at 30. Got Lexington at 30. Newberry is right at that freezing mark. Now getting towards freezing will be Winsboro. Right at it is Columbia. We see Sumter near that freezing mark. Everyone wrapped up around these marks down towards Orangeburg. 33. So still one of the uh, again milder marks for Orangeburg County in general, but everyone's just going to be continuously seeing everything falling back at least another degree or two as we continue into this morning. We see a widespread freeze warning obviously because all these temperatures that have fallen back were projected and here we are now. We see that potential for frost this morning as well. That is going to be something around for you, my friends. So prepare for that. Dress warm. You know what to do before we get into this afternoon where things will work to warm. We are talking two days here between today and tomorrow. Highs will actually rebound into the 70s. Then St. Patrick's Day is coming soon. It will be coming with some late evening rain potential again late, not early on, and that could be some good news or bad news for you. Going into the day, we see highs around 70. Sunshine is there. Beautiful change of pace from this frosty start. Pretty easy again with the forecast, but Friday a bit more tricky. So here comes St. Patrick's Day. Now we start out the morning. It's not as cold mid to upper 40s as we get into that Friday start. Then for the afternoon, clouds work their way in. But look at that left side of your screen. That is a cold front coming in. So we build up to highs around 73, 74 for the afternoon. Thank you, southwesterly breeze. But here we go. Here comes the cold front. Moving on in. Stopped it there. 8 o'clock. We're working to see rain now working into the region. This will continue into the nighttime period. This is, again, a front pushing on through. We're seeing the winds easing on. We're going to be seeing the rain. A few downpours very much possible. So if you have any idea or plans to be out late on Friday, you might need to be, again, taking into account this rain, okay, as it pushes on pushes through the Palmetto State. But here we go for Saturday. Any plans here? Festivities around the region. Of course, St. Pat's and Five Points. This is going to be good news because we dry out. It's going to be a cooler day overall. Should see highs around 59, 60 degrees. But hey, that sun will be working its way back in and the rain says, OK, I'm going to take a rest. Go away in the short term. Let's see what you got today. It is another school day for this Thursday. Seeing high temps chasing down 70. Nice change up from the cold morning conditions. It is going to be all about that sun for this afternoon and those winds switching up. Tonight we're going to see a low around 48 on average. Some could be a bit below, but hey, not as cold. You know, we're staying away from those chilly marks. Here it is for St. Patrick's Day again. What's going on out there? Get to those mid 70s showers arriving late. Be ready because those showers again are arriving late. It's not there for the morning, not for the afternoon. Relatively dry Friday overall, but then we work to see that front bring us that potential precipitation, which does luckily dry up for those events going on around the region going into Saturday morning, which will be nice, even though it does come along with some chills trying to fight back before spring.